Hi guys, here in this video, we are going to discuss Jan 2019 chemistry problem. Just look at it. The total number of degrees of freedom of an HPR molecule that is constrained to translate along a straight line but doesn't have any constraint for its rotation and vibration is. Okay, here, so just look at the given problem. Here we have a hint in it that the HPR molecule is constrained to translate along a straight line. Okay, watch the video completely to get a detailed conceptual analysis here. Okay, right. Now, just take a straight line here from X to Y. So, before going to analyze it, just take a general example. I am just taking here a car, just moving from X to Y. Okay. So it should be it should move in this way only. That means there is no reverse of it. Okay, so there is no any changes in its movement. It is restricted to move in a one way from X to Y. Okay, so like that here we have HBr that is a diatomic molecule and which is translating along a straight line just consider from x to y okay so whenever it is translating here we have different possibilities so this is the one way okay so i need the next possible way that uh, b or here just like this okay and in the next possible way we can take so these are different possible motions of hbr on a straight line Right, and as we said, it is a restricted motion. That means for along the straight line, so this kind of motion is not uh, given for it. Okay, so you can see this kind of rotational motion is not possible. Whenever it starts from bromine on a straight line, it should move just like as a bromine is the first part of it. Okay, right, just understand this. So this is a boat that constrained to translate along a straight line. Okay, right. And after observing, now just come to HBr here. So when we observe that HBr is simply considered as a diatomic rigid molecule. Okay, because its motion is restricted along a straight line, we are considering from X to Y. So we can say there is no internuclear changes. So we can say it is a rigid diatomic molecule. For a rigid diatomic molecule, we have five degree of freedom in that three or translational degree of freedom. Okay, two should be rotational degree of freedom. But the molecule HBr is just moving on a straight line. That means the 3D space is reduced to 2D space here. Okay, in that case, we can take just three coordinates, uh, just take x, y, and z here. Okay, right. And as we said, I'm taking HBr like this or B or H, and which is just uh, moving or having the motion along x coordinate that is along the straight line okay just assume like that and here only one possible rotation okay so like this or like this so just take those uh, motions here or rotational motions in that case there is no uh, oriental changes of atoms like hydrogen bromine of hbr so that rotation is not going to change any spatial orientations of hydrogen and bromine atoms of HBr molecules. So this rotation is not contributing for degree of rotation or so, okay, so degree of rotation. Now another possible way, so just take here, we have three coordinates. Okay, so just wait for it. Three coordinates as X, Y and Z. Now I'm just taking HBr like so which is perpendicular to uh, x axis or x coordinate. In this case, you can see whenever it is moving like this, okay, perpendicular through the x coordinate on a straight line. In that case, you can see there is one possible rotation. So like this or 
like this okay clockwise or anti-clockwise just do it and if you do that we can say or that means spatial orientations of hydrogen bromine is changing okay and that leads to rotational motion contribution towards a rotational degree of freedom okay now we have one rotational degree of freedom from this motion so as we said for a rigid diatomic molecule we have three translational motions a motion and one a rotational motion and which leads to the total of four degree of freedom okay right so from this option c is the correct answer and to get complete information about degree of freedom i am just visit chemistry.online just uh, get registration and join the best online courses to get the guaranteed success thank you very much